morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It's Thursday. Man, I got a question. I got something, an answer. Something I heard yesterday. Fire away. I heard you're going to have a house guest for a little while. Yep, I am. And I am actually, we talked about this on Tuesday show. I am happy and I am nervous. Okay? We're leaving. And I've asked Gary, intern Gary, Gary Wayne, to come stay at my crib. That's what you're talking about, right? Yeah. For the week I'm gone, for the dogs, let them out, come oh, back. Okay, then forget the whole thing. I thought it was in between his moves. He needed to stay somewhere for a little while, and you was going to be here. Hell no. Hell was, no. I, when he, Hell no. When he went, yeah, I got to stay at Russell's, you know, about a week, and I went. How in the hell did you talk Ross Lynn that? So now, all right, no, all right, now I get it. Hell I no, it. It, Gary, you watch the show. You can't never come over here and stay with me. Never. Oh. Now, you know what? That leads me, and I have something else to say. That leads me into this. I don't like people coming into my house. Right. I take that back. I don't mind people coming into my. I'm not gonna ever have nobody over for dinner. I'm. I'm. I'm just not gonna do that. Do you like to entertain? Sure. Yeah. That's going to be our question today. Do you like to entertain? And, that being said, yeah. at the family reunion, at Christmas, at Thanksgiving, at all this stuff, we play games. Correct. You saw some video from the from your mama. Yeah. And I love it. We were playing Skip Bow first. Me and, me and Brooks and Marissa and, and Jackie and, and Jessica, you know. I love it. Right. And everybody else in my family loves it. And every time, hey, we need to do game night once a month. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. How many times have we done game night? <laughs> Never. <clears throat> but we are going to do it now. Once a month. And I think it's we, we're planning, we're just going to try to do the first Friday of the month. You're just going to kind of skip around yeah, house yeah. to house? That's a good we'll, idea. We'll go to, just go to somebody different's house. But since we've lived over here, we've probably had people over three times. Family, and I, I like grilling, and I like cooking. Even had them over for breakfast one time. How weird is that? that that's weird. Got to cook pancakes and stuff. That's good, but, that's fine. But I hadn't got to do it in so long. Right. Other than... You know, my mom's for Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it wasn't your. It was. It was the place that we. Yeah. But it was your mom's because your mom was there. But the one thing I do like about going to Gerald's or Billy's or this weekend we got to go to uh, Castillo's is when I'm ready to go home. Yeah. I can pack up and go home. And go home. Yeah. That's the reason I don't do it. I honestly tell you that is the reason I don't do it. Not that I don't, and you can come over, and I don't care. I mean, but I don't want anybody in here that's going to overstay their welcome, and I don't want to have to entertain you. When I really want to say, hey, you need to go, man, because I'm tired. Now, see, I don't live in a big house with a pool and stuff. No. You know, so, you know, we got a modest little three-bedroom. It ain't real big, but the kitchen and stuff, you all saw on the show, the kitchen yeah. and the living room's kind of together. And that's kind of where I want people to stay. Right, right. You know, I don't want them in my house. in your house. Yeah, I but get that. I get that. if I had a big house with a pool and stuff, I wouldn't mind if they stayed. And did but more. But you got to realize, when I get ready to go to bed, I'm going to leave you in there. Yeah. You can just lock up when you leave. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. But I'm not going to force myself to stay up and entertain you when I'm done. You can stay. Yeah, but you're going to have to lock yeah. the door. That's what I want to know. Are you like Chris or like me? No, that ain't where really I really want to go. But are you one that likes to entertain, or are you like you know what? I ain't come, you ain't coming over here. It's weird because no, it, it's it's way different than if I go somewhere. And Gerald is is like me at his house. When people come to my house, cleaning, trash. Hey, man. Relax and just have a good... I am having a good time. Yeah. And my buddy Alan from that back in the day was super OCD and he was cleaning everything and putting things away and, and I asked him one time, the same thing sometimes people ask me, I went, hey man, 
relax. You can, we can do that when it's over. But I want he you is, to have a good time. And he went, what, what are you talking about? That's what I'm saying. That is a good time to him. That was a good yeah. time. He he liked entertaining. He liked and cleaning up. He, he didn't mind. It's exactly and right. And he didn't mind it. That's so exactly right. I'm, I'm that guy. You're, yeah. I want to know that. What do you, do you, and, and I've got it from Billy before, before we leave. I got it Billy before, like, man, I've known you how long, and we ain't even been over to ask for dinner. I went, and you ain't going to be. Right. I ain't going to lie to you, tell you, I ain't inviting him over for dinner. I'll invite you over for dinner. Yeah. And it is a deal of, I want to know, yeah, I want to know, are you, do you enjoy entertaining, or I don't want to say, I don't want to make it where you like to go to somebody else's house, because everybody does that. Do you enjoy entertaining? That's our simple deal. Yeah. That'd be our simple deal. Do you like entertaining? Do you like entertaining? Now, take it to this level with movies and all that kind of stuff. You love entertaining. Live action shows, directing, all that kind of stuff. Love that. But once you cut that off, I'm done. Yeah. You don't like coming to the backyard and announcing groups coming on. You don't like the, you know. I don't like getting on stage and having to, hey, everybody, everybody having a good time. We got it coming up. But if we were to go, hey, man, we're going to do a live action stunt show. We're going to do it on the stage. We're going to have some fights and everything. And then I'd be like, hey, okay, I'm there. You want me to choreograph it? You want me to do right. that? You want to kick me in? And then I'll, uh, and then we're gone. That got no problem. That's some weird. That's some weird. That's just stupid. Hey, by chance, stupid. if my new friends are watching, okay, because <clears throat> you know on on the golf cart I got Red Sea TV, okay? right? But if my new friends from Aransas Pass that owns Willie's Waterfront Restaurant are watching, shout out! I enjoyed giving y'all a ride, and thank you so much for coming back to the backyard not once but twice to try the Hangover Burger and the Sleazy Joe and. All that kind of stuff, because it's nice to hear a restaurant owner go. We came, we came back here to eat. To eat here, yeah. Yes, thank you, thank you. So it's Friday, right? I mean, it's Thursday. Thursday. Friday's tomorrow. And yesterday we didn't announce an act. Let's do both of them then. Can I just put both pictures up, like side yeah. by side? Uh, no, because they're they're this way. Okay. So, so you have to go one at a one, time. One, two, three, bam. Mm-mm-mm. August 29th. They're not all stars, but they should have been. Hey now, here it up. Yep. Smash mouth. Okay, you see that one? Here we go. One, one two, two, three. Bam! I wanna be a baller. Shot caller. Man, I'm excited about that one. I am excited about that one. Should I be? Yeah. And and the thing is. People ask. People go, man, we want something different. We want something different. Give us something different. I want, I want this. This is different. We are covering the genre, even though it's it's a little further back in the 90s. And I think little Troy's in the late. He's in the 90s. Yeah. He ain't in the 80s. So we're bringing them. And <laughs> I'm telling you, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I won't be here for Smash Mouth, I don't think. I think, I'm, I think I'm. I think I'm not back till the oh, next yeah. day. That's, that's right. But I'll be here for little Troy. Little Troy. Little Troy. Hey, we've got to thank our sponsor of the day, Dave out at ADS, who also, as we talked about, the backyard hooked Chris up and got his. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll try to send it. If you see a video right here, it worked. If you don't, you we just kept on talking. Yeah. If that's so, you saw the cart. Yeah. So if we got the video up, I don't know if we did or not. We'll know in a minute. And big shout out to Dave, our sponsor, ADS. If you need something like that, he put the backyard on there for you and stuff. Go down there and see Dave at ADS. And hey, they—I mean, they do—they do trim, they do oh, yeah. uh, decals. I, I mean, I've seen them do dang near anything when it comes. You know what else he does? What? Talk a lot? No. He does talk. If a lot. you have had a DUI. Okay, where are we going? He doesn't get you off. Now they make you put a breathalyzer in your car. Oh, I he think does on that? on first offense. Really? He calib- installs and calibrates them. And I think he's the only person in town. Well, he should have a lot of business. I think he's the only person in town. I think calibrate is like just $17. They take it out, Redo put it, it, up, put it yeah. back in to where you won't get in trouble. Well, and that wasn't a, a jab at anybody who's had a DUI or anything. No, just say it's but a place to go. I'm sure you need to know. If 
you have that system, you probably going to need somebody like Dave. It's a good call. That is good to know right there. Yeah. The more you know. Public service announcement. The more you know. All right, man. Have a great weekend. And until Monday, I am Russ. This is Chris.